For y'all that is just, no, he shouldn't perform her. No, don't stand up for him. What do you want from him? What do you want him to do? What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Samira Speaks. So it's your girl. Welcome to my channel. And I just want to get right into this Chris Brown topic because honestly, I'm tired. I am so tired of the back and forth with the Chris Brown topic. Are we going to let the boy perform or are we going to eh, 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 and tell him to go take a seat in the back? Because this this back and forth, this wish and wash, I cannot do anymore. It's like make a decision today. And now we know the Chris Brown situation is complicated. I, let me just say, because everybody like always asks me like, do you like Chris Brown? Like, do you like him as a person? Listen, I don't know Chris Brown as a person, so I can't say if I like him personally. I can say I don't like some of the choices that he's made in his life. I, I don't agree with everything he's done, but what I won't deny or what, what I will never take away from Chris Brown is Chris Brown is one of the most talented artists of our generation. Chris Brown is literally the closest thing that we had to Michael Jackson male-wise. And unfortunately, with the incidents that happened in Chris Brown's career, took away from what he could have been. Because the Chris Brown we see today is not who Chris Brown should have been and would have been if it wasn't for all the shenanigans and ridiculousness that went, that happened in Chris Brown's career. And my thing is, the AMAs, you can't ask somebody to perform, right? And they rehearse, they put all their all into the show. Because one thing about Chris Brown, we know that Chris Brown is going to put on a show. Again, he's one of the greatest performers of our generation. So this man had been practicing, sweating his butt off. I mean, he was giving us a Michael Jackson, Chris, Michael Jackson tribute and giving us that fucking robot to say. I didn't see that live. I'm so mad that we didn't get to see that. And they took his performance away at the very last minute. And so he was very upset by that. And then he also was going to have Sierra help him perform. Y'all, we missed out on a Chris Brown Sierra performance because. Why? Okay, it's kind of deeper. I think they were going into the whole Michael Jackson situation too, but they're also holding Chris Brown accountable for his past actions. And people want to say, oh, you guys, he's an abuser. He's a, he's an abuser. And it's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Chris Brown has done things in his past. As far as the Rihanna situation, that occurred in 2009. 2009, okay? It is 2023. Girl, we about to be in 2023. It's 2022. Rihanna has forgiven him. Okay, she done made out, I mean, come out and made songs with the man. We weren't there. We don't know what happened. He did what he did. He did come out. He apologized. But of course, when you're black, the media holds you to a whole nother standard that I have never seen before. That was 13 years ago, 14 years ago, and we're still talking about it today. And then we have the people who come out and say, well, it's just not about Chris Brown. What about Karuchi? What about Karuchi? And I'm just like, yes, you're absolutely right. There was also the Karuchi situation that happened in 2000, 2017. We know that he was dating Karuchi and there was a restraining order that was put on Chris Brown. So we have two incidents that happened involving Chris Brown. We don't really know really too much what happened between Karuchi and Chris Brown. We just know that there was allegations of domestic violence. But since then, Chris Brown has had allegations, but a lot of things have been thrown out and a lot of times people were coming forward, they were lying on him trying to get money. And I don't think we give that as much attention as we need because can you imagine Chris Brown's PTSD? His whole life he has to go through this, people hating him for his terrible actions, rightfully so, but he can never escape it. Like, I think sometimes we don't put ourselves in other people's shoes. And yeah, we normal people and we can talk about somebody's life, but you're not living his life. You don't know what somebody is going through. And I personally think because of that, it has made Chris Brown a little off in the head. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. The boy seems a little off. 
but genius cre creatively. He's a genius creatively. Kelly Rowland, just not Kelly Rowland, but Kelly Rowland was the first celebrity to actually come out and speak out in Chris Brown's defense saying that he deserved grace. Um, so far, Jordan Sparks has also come out. Sierra has come out. Some prominent female artists have come out. And I personally think that says a lot. But then we have people on the internet who are just like, why are we praising Chris Brown? Why are we, why are we defending him? He don't need to be defended. I believe that grace is very real and we all need a dose of it. And before we point fingers at anybody, we should realize how grateful we are for every moment that we get for even, even our, our own things that we have. I just think it's important to remember to be human. We are humans and yeah, do you feel like he needs to? I mean, he needs to be forgiven for like you know what he did. I mean, you know what? We all need to for be forgiven for anything that we could be doing, anything that we're thinking. We all come up short in some sort of way, and grace is real, and and we are humans, and everybody deserves grace. Period. Have yeah. a good day, honey. I know you. Period. Um, shout out to Miss Kelly Rowland because, honey, she's been giving it to the girls lately. She, she's very much giving that I said what I said energy, and I love it. I love it. Kelly Rowland basically said that everybody deserves grace and everybody deserves forgiveness. Um, we forget sometimes that we are human and nobody is perfect. We sit on our judging crowds and just judge people and say this, this, and this, and this, and I, I, I. And it's just like at the same time, no sin is greater than another. And how long are you going to beat somebody up for something? It's just like, what do you want that man to do? To get on his knees and cry? He's kind of already done that. Get on television, rake a, a, a apology. Or people say, I just want changed behavior. Well, we haven't seen anything in years. He had two incidents. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying how long, what is it going to take for you to move on? What do you want from him? For y'all that is just, no, he shouldn't perform her. No, don't stand up for him. What do you want from him? What do you want him to do? I'm not making excuses for Chris Brown because I, at the end of the day, honestly, Kelly Rowley standing up for Chris Brown is just like, personally, mm, you know, me standing up for Chris is like, mm, because I'm the very girl he probably doesn't like, and I'm the very girl that probably he would kick out of the section. No shade, but shade. And it's just funny to me that it's always the women who are, you know, undeserving or don't get the love that they deserve coming to the rescue of people who probably don't deserve our grace, but yet we still give it. Despite of everything, we still give that grace. And you know what? At first I was like, mm mm, because him and I don't. Mm. And then I thought about it. It's like, uh uh, honey. I'm not going to harden my heart for somebody else. I'm not going to harden my heart because somebody might not like me or I might not be their preference or I might not like their actions. But I'm talking about something in a bigger sense that grace needs to be given. And forgiveness is a big thing. And in this world, it just feels like we just be so ready to throw people away. And some people deserve to be thrown away. But Chris Brown, I feel like may deserve another chance. At least the man deserves to perform. Because one thing I can say, Chris Brown, baby, he really does put his all in his performances. And he puts his all into his craft. And he kind of stays out of the way. The man has two kids, seems to be a great father. The mother of his kids love him. We don't say anything about that, now do we? Chris Brown being a great father, no we don't. And he has two, no he has a boy and a girl, but he seems like a girl dad because he's always with that little girl. So it's just like, we gonna, we gonna harp on the bad but never praise for the good. Again, where does the grace come in? Just my opinion about the thing. And again, I'm just upset because I didn't get to see Evan Roberts and I wanted to see that live. So I need <clears throat> somebody else to pick this performance up at the AMAs. I understand that the AMAs is hosted on ABC, which ABC is owned by Disney, and Disney just has all these effing rules that are so freaking ridiculous. So here's my idea. I don't really want to see it on ABC or a, a cable network. We could get like these big time performances and put them on Amazon Music or Amazon Prime. I feel like they're doing this live music thing. I would like to see this performance get the light of day that it deserves. I want to see the Michael Jackson tribute because only Chris Brown can give it. So I need Amazon, Netflix. It can't be Hulu because Hulu's owned by Disney. So I'm going to say either Amazon or Netflix. More so Amazon Prime because they're kind of doing the whole music thing right now. 
to make this performance see the light of day and put it on streaming because the people want to see it. The people want to see it. I I'm not going to beat Chris Brown up for years to come. Like, how long is we going to go? And what do y'all want to see? What do y'all want from Chris Brown, honestly? Or you just throwing him away saying he can't perform no more. You don't want to see him, hear him because he disgusts your soul. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But I'm, I'm not hardening my heart for everybody. That's just not me. If it's you, it's you. If it's not me, it's not Miss Kelly Rowland, it's not Miss Jordan Sparks, and it's not Sierra. It's funny how there's so many women speaking up for him. We are the people looking out from the outside in. Y'all don't know him, the ones who are going off, but the people that actually know him and that are in the gym shooting with him and then that are in the doing all this pot locking with him and in the studio, I haven't heard nothing bad about Chris Brown. Only good things. Again, what does that say? Y'all jot down in these comments and tell me what you think. Do you think Chris Brown deserves grace? Do you think that he should just be thrown away? Are y'all like me and very upset that you didn't get to see one of the greatest performances that was ever going to happen on stage with Sierra and Chris Brown doing a performance or a tribute to Michael Jackson? And you want to see it, so you want a streaming service to pick it up? Then yeah, get down in these comments. Again, that's all I have to say. Until next time, guys. Bye, girl.